recording in progress. Good evening, everyone. I hope everyone has had a wonderful evening despite the weather going on this, this evening. So I hope that everyone can just prepare their hearts and minds and just put whatever that you have that you need from God on your hearts at this moment. Everyone bow their heads for a word of prayer. Oh, gracious Heavenly Father, we just come to you this evening just to say thank you. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for just being with us each and every day. We ask that you continue to watch over us and keep us safe up and down the dangerous highways. We want to say thank you for just your head of protection for us, Lord. We thank you for our families, Lord. We ask that you continue to touch everyone's hearts and minds, regulate their spirits, oh God. We thank you for our jobs. We thank you for our careers and businesses. We ask that you continue to just allow our businesses to continue to strive, dear Heavenly Father. We ask you that you help us to be a light on our jobs. I know sometimes we struggle, dear Father, but we ask you that you Give us the words to say, the right thoughts to think. We ask that you continue to help us on this consecration, Lord. We ask that you clean us out, O oh Heavenly Father. Anything that is not of you, we ask that you cleanse us, remove it, Lord. We ask that your light shine through us, Lord. Help us to save souls. Help us to Give somebody a word that they don't know about you, God. We ask that you continue to be a comfort to those who have lost loved ones. Help to be their strength, oh God. We ask that you cover those in the nursing homes, those who are struggling with addiction. We ask that you strengthen their minds, oh Heavenly Father. Help them to understand that the things of this world they don't need, but they only need you, God. We ask that you continue to bless the ministries, oh God. Bless each and every denomination, every church, every pastor. We ask that you go in the churches, Lord. We ask that you allow the members of the church to allow you to use them, their talents, Lord. To not be ashamed to work for you, God. Help us to be better servants to you, Father. We ask that you help us to be better parents, Lord. Lord, you have given us the Bible, your instructions, Lord. Help us to read our word more. Help us to pray more, Lord. Help us to instill your word into our children, for they are the next generation. Lord, we ask that you remove the evil spirits that's within this world. Lord, we ask that you just touch everyone under the sound of my voice. Help us to love one another, Lord. Help us to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. Lord, help us to love you more, Lord. That's what we need in this world, to understand that love is the key, Lord. That it's not just an action, but we have to show it each and every day to not just say it, Lord, but let it be in our hearts, let it be in our minds, Heavenly Father. We ask that you continue to just Touch this nation, Lord. We ask that you continue to strengthen those that are dealing with affliction in their bodies. We just want you to heal, deliver, and set free. Lord, we need you each and every day. Not by our own merits, Lord, but only by you, Heavenly Father. We need you, Lord. We ask that you Remove the crime, Lord, not just in Shreveport, not just in Louisiana, but over this whole nation. We ask that you touch our government, Lord. We ask that you remove all evilness right now, Heavenly Father. As we consecrate our hearts and our minds, Lord, just ask that you strengthen us, Lord. We know sometimes that we fall short. Sometimes we don't know the right things to say. We don't know the right things to think, Lord. And we ask you that you continue to just help us, give us the words to say right now, Lord. Lord, we ask that you continue to just be a light. We need strength. We need you each and every day, Lord. 
Lord, we rebuke anything that is not of you. Right now, Lord, that we ask that you go into the schools, Lord. You help cover our children to help them be safe, to help them to learn the right things, Lord, to say the right things to Heavenly Father. We ask that you cover us with your blood right now. Lord, we ask for your Holy Spirit, Lord. Help us to want it, Lord. The ones that have it, Lord, we ask for a refill, Lord. We ask you that you help lead us and guide us. Help us to, Lord, if you've given us that power, Lord, help us to use it. Don't let it just be complacent in our lives, Lord, but to use it. Help us to understand that you have given us power and the devil is defeated right now, Lord Jesus. Lord, we ask that you continue to just bless this nation. Bless everyone in this country, Lord. Strengthen us, build us up where we may be weak and torn down. We ask that you help doctors in the hospitals, Lord, nurses, Lord, parents, teachers, everyone, Lord. Help us to follow you each and every day. Lord, don't help us to not complain, but to just count you worthy. We just want to give you glory, all the honor and praise, because you are a way maker. You've done everything, Lord, and you said if we delight in you, you give us the desires of our heart, Lord Jesus. Lord, we just want to thank you. We want to honor you. We want to praise you. We want to thank you for being everything that we need you to be, Lord, and even more. Lord, we ask these blessings in your son, Jesus' name. We give you all the glory, all the honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, we thank you, we love you, and we adore you. Amen. Oh God, we thank you, Lord, as we come before the throne of grace, God. We give you the honor and the glory. Lord, we just want to say thank you for another day you've allowed us to see, Lord, a day that was not promised to us, oh Lord. We just want to thank you, oh God, because you gave your life for us, oh Lord. We did not deserve it, oh Lord. You gave us salvation, Lord, a way of escape out of this world, Lord. We just thank you in the name of Jesus, Lord. We're thanking you, Lord, for the plan of salvation, Lord. We just thank you, Lord, that you have a plan for us, Lord. Lord, you said you know the thoughts that you thought you think of us, oh Lord. There are thoughts of good, not evil, oh God. We just thank you for your word, Lord. For without it, we would have nothing, Lord. For you are the word. You are your word, Lord. We thank you for it, Lord. We we thank you, Lord, that you do not lie, oh God. We can depend on you, Lord. It's for you, Lord. We know that you are a safe place, Lord. We thank you, Lord, and you as Lord where we move and we have our being, oh Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for being faithful to us when we're not even faithful to ourselves, oh God. And Lord, we want, to, we want this year to be different than no other year before, oh God. We want to draw closer to you this year, Lord, like never before. Lord, we're asking, oh God, that you that we take off these, these masks, Lord, we take off the fakeness of ourselves, oh God, and be real with you to be exposed, Lord, hopefully through this fast, oh God, that we we be exposed to you, God, that you will be truthful, Lord, and to see our faults, oh God, because we, we cannot make it without you, God. Be without your power, Lord. We ask that you will help us to be humble, oh God, and admit, Lord, we're wrong in the things that we are doing and what we're saying, oh God, and to quicken our spirits, Lord, to draw closer to you, Lord. Help us to be the light of the world, Lord, that you have promised us to be, Lord God. But we must be obedient, Lord. We help us to be obedient to your word, to be to what you're saying and doing now in this time, oh God. We just thank you, Lord, for the blood of Jesus, Lord. We're pleading the blood over, Lord, our lives, oh God, over our children, over our family, oh God. For through that blood, Lord, we know there's life, health, and strength, oh Lord. And we plead it over everything that, uh, that's connected to us, God. For with it, Lord, we know that we, we have to be saved through that, Lord. We just thank you, Lord, for all the things you were allowed to have happened in this time, Lord. We're thanking you, Lord, for a place, Lord, even a place, Lord, to worship you, Lord, 
in the congregation. We know in many countries, Lord, they, they can't even say hallelujah, Lord. They can't even thank you, Lord God. And we're just grateful, Lord, to live in this country, Lord, that you have blessed us with, Lord. And we don't want the rocks to cry out, oh God. We just want to say thank you, oh God. But we know around the throne, there are praises and glory going on 24-7, Lord. Let it not be counted of us that we not praise you, O oh God. And we know that you seek the worship of Lord, and we worship you on tonight, O oh God. We know that our time is limited on this earth, O oh God. Help us, Lord, to draw closer to you, Lord, with everything that we have, O oh God. And we know there are many of those that are around us, Lord, that we know that don't know you, O oh God. Help us, Lord, to draw them to you, Lord. For, Lord, there is no other way off this earth, O oh God, but through you, O oh Lord. All roads lead to you, O oh God. But we want them to see heaven like we want to see heaven, God. So I ask us, Lord, to help to strengthen us, Lord, in this time that we are seeing that we've never seen before, Lord. Strengthen our minds and our hearts and our spirits, Lord. Make us strong, O oh God. For you are a strong tower, O oh God. And we trust in every, everything that you say, Lord. And, Lord, I just thank you, Lord, for this ministry, Lord. It's abilities, Lord, to reach the young people, oh God. For we know the enemy is busy in these days and times, oh God. When we speak to them, Lord, we are the only word that they know, oh God. Impart in us your word. Help us to be hungry for your word, to thirst after your word, Lord, that they may hear it, Lord, and turn from their ways, oh God. Help us to be steadfast and turn not to the left or the right, but stay, oh God in your lane, oh God. Stay in you, for Lord, there is where safety is, Lord. We just thank you, Lord, for Lord, for the things that you've allowed to have happened. We know things are happening according to Bible prophecy, oh God, and you said to, to fret not ourselves for evildoers, for they will soon be cut off, oh God. For we know payday is coming after a while, oh God. Let us be counted not to be disobedient unto you, God, but let us be steadfast and hold on to your word, Lord. For you will soon return, oh Lord. We just thank you, Lord. Lord, we just thank you, Lord, on tonight. We just say thank you, Jesus, Lord. Thank you, oh God. We thank you, Lord, for this time. We thank you, Lord, that you help us to get a consecrated heart, Lord, a clean heart, oh God. Clean our hearts and our hands, oh God. Let us worship you in spirit and in truth, oh God. For we must be holy, oh God, Lord. Before we can, without holiness, Lord, we won't see your face, oh Lord. And we are crying out for holiness on right now, oh God, your Holy Spirit, Lord, to be an infilling of, of us on tonight in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, that we may change a generation, Lord. We just thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And we're asking prayer, Lord, with those that are sick on tonight that you would touch their minds and their bodies, oh God. Uh, bring back the miracles that we may see with our own eyes, oh Lord, and let the testimonies roll, Lord, and those that have, have gone astray, bring them back, oh God, to you, Lord. Let them see that there is no other way but back to you, Lord, and those that don't know Christ, Lord, that we may be able to part, Lord, your spirit to them, Lord. We just thank you, oh God, for those that are have children, that you will cover them, oh God. There's many things that's going on in their learning that like, that's not of you, oh God. Ask that you will cover them, and Lord, and let them know who you are, Lord, through us, Lord, that we may live the life, the life of you, Lord God. And we just thank you on tonight, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, Lord, to having the mind to come out and to pray, oh God, in the corporate prayer, Lord, for we know the prayers of the righteous avail much, oh God. And we just thank you, Lord, for this ministry. We ask in prayer for the Scott family, oh God, that you will touch them, Lord, from the head of their top of their head to the sole of their feet, Lord. But we know it's not easy being a pastor in these last and evil days, oh God, that you will strengthen them, Lord. You'll give them the strength of a lion, oh God, to preach the word in season and out of season, oh God. Don't worry about their faces, oh God. Ask to do them, help them to keep be obedient to what you say, do, Lord God. We just thank you, oh God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity, Lord. And we ask all these blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to your name, Jesus. Wonderful Savior. We bless your name on tonight, Lord God, for you are a good God. You are a worthy God. Lord, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you just for waking us up this morning, Lord God. So many people did not get to wake up this morning, but we thank you for our lives, our health, and our strength. 
We thank you for your goodness to us, Lord God. We thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercies. Lord, we thank you for your salvation, for saving us and filling us with your Holy Spirit, Lord God. Lord, we thank you for all your many blessings, Lord God. Lord, you are so worthy. You are such a holy God, a wonderful God, a righteous God, a long-suffering God, and we worship you. Lord, we glorify you, we magnify you, and we praise your name on this evening. Lord, we just ask that you would please, please forgive us from our sins, God. Anything and everything that's not like you, we ask that you would take it out, Lord God. Take it out of our minds, take it out of our hearts. Lord, we want to be pleasing in your sight, Lord God. And we know that you hate sin. So, Lord, anything and everything that's not like you, we ask that you would take it out in the name of Jesus. Lord, we want to be a light that draws others to you, Lord God. And we know that with sin, we have no light. So help us to be a light. Help us to be an example. Help us to lead others to you, Lord God. Lord, we have nothing. We are nothing without you, Lord God. Lord, you, we move with you only, Lord God. Help us to recognize that in everything that we do, every move that we make, that you must be in it, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bless your name on tonight. We thank you for all of your many blessings, Lord God. Lord, we thank you for provision. The little things, Lord God, that we don't think of, Lord, just the the roof over our head, the clothes on our backs, the food, that's provision, Lord God. And Lord, forgive us for taking it for granted, Lord God, because you are our sole provider. You provide the increase. And we thank you for it, Lord God. We thank you for it, Lord God. Lord, we just ask that you will continue to touch, touch our leaders, Lord God, touch the leaders of this nation, Lord God, continue to give them wisdom, Lord God knowledge and understanding to make the best decisions. Lord God, help them to get out of self. Help them not to be swayed from other individuals, Lord God, and help them to make the right decisions for the nation as a whole, Lord God. Lord, we ask that you would touch our leaders nationally and locally, Lord God, our state, Lord God, all of our legislative people, Lord God, the people that represent us, Lord God, we just ask that you would continue to bless them with wisdom and understand and save them, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, pray a special blessing for our pastor and his family, Lord God. We know that it is uh, not an easy task, Lord God. We just ask that you would continue to bless them in every area of their lives. Bless them with good health, with good wealth, and with good wisdom, Lord God. Everywhere they walk is blessed, Lord God. And we're claiming it and right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We thank you that they that they are following you. And Lord, help us to follow them as they follow you, Lord God. Help us to not be bench warmers, Lord God. Help us to use the gifts that you have blessed us with, Lord God, in our ministry, Lord God. We want to serve you. Help us to be servants for you that will draw people to you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we love you. We bless you. We praise your name on tonight, Lord God, for you are an awesome God, Lord God. Lord, we thank you for healing us, Lord God. We thank you for healing us from COVID, Lord God. There are so many people that have been affected by that. Lord God, we thank you for healing us, Lord God. Lord, we thank you for the healing of our bodies from the top of our heads to the crown of our feet, Lord, because you said by your stripes we're healed. And we believe, Lord God, if we trust and believe and we stand on your word, Lord God, and we're going to walk in our healings, Lord God, Lord, we know that you are bigger than COVID. We know that you are bigger than cancer. We know that you are bigger than diabetes, Lord God. We know that you are bigger than heart disease, Lord God. And we just are going to stand on your word. We're going to praise you in advance for what you've already done and what you're already going to do. And we know, Lord God, that through you, it is already all right, Lord God. And we are calling it so. We are calling it done in the name of Jesus. And we say hallelujah and glory to your name, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. 
We thank you for all of your healing, Lord God. We are claiming it in every area of our lives, Lord God. We are claiming good health, Lord God. We are claiming good mental health and good physical health, Lord God. Lord, we are claiming in the name of Jesus, uh, good financial health, Lord God. And we are claiming in the name of Jesus, good spiritual health, Lord God. Lord, we thank you right now. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you because you are so worthy to be praised, Lord God. We honor you. Your matchless name, Jesus. We say hallelujah to your name, Jesus. There is no one like you, Lord God. We bless your name on tonight. We bless your name, Jesus. You are such a wonderful savior. Oh God, you are so good to us. Even when we're not good to ourselves and we don't deserve it, but you loved us yet still. And we bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah to your name, God. Lord, we want to draw closer to you, Lord God. Lord, fix our hearts and our minds to, to have a stronger desire to do what's right, Lord God. We want to strive for perfection in you, Lord God. Lord, we're not perfect, but we want to strive for that perfection in you, Lord God. We want to live right. We want to walk right. We want to talk right, Lord God. Help us, God. Help us, Lord God. Lord, we empty out our cups. We come to you with empty cups so you can fill us up with your spirit, Lord God. We want to be used by you, Lord God. We want you to take everything that's not like you and move it out, Lord God. We want to make room for you in every area of our lives and help us, God. Continue to give us the desire to do what's pleasing in your sight, God. Oh, God, you are such an awesome, wonderful God, and we want to do what's right, Lord God. Help us, God. Help us to do what's right, Lord God. Help us to live right. Help us to serve right. Regulate our minds. Regulate our thoughts in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Lord, for you are a mind regulator, Lord God. You are a heart fixer, Lord God, and we thank you for it, Lord God. We praise your name, Lord God, for you are so worthy to be praised, Lord God. Lord, we just ask that you will continue to help us grow as a ministry, Lord God. Help us to draw others to you, Lord God. Lord, help us to follow the plan that you have set forth, Lord God, for us, Lord God. Help us to be mindful, Lord God. Help us to be have a mission, Lord God, on a mission, not to fall by the wayside, Lord God, not, not to get complacent, Lord God. Help us to be on fire for you, Lord God. We want to be on fire for you, Lord God, so that we can draw others to you, Lord God. We don't want to just take it all in for ourselves, Lord God. Help us not to be selfish Christians, Lord God. We want to share your goodness and mercy in our communities, Lord God, on our jobs, with our families. And Lord, we just ask that you would continue to show us what to do and how to do it and who to minister to and the words to say, Lord God, because we know that when you lead us and when you guide us, it's right, Lord God. We don't have to doubt it. We don't have to question it, Lord God, but we stand on that when you are in control. When you are giving us direction, we know that we cannot go wrong. And we thank you for that, Lord God. Lord, we just ask that you would continue to save, Lord God. Save our families, Lord God. Lord God, everybody that we have been calling out, Lord God, even by name, Lord God, we just ask that you would save them, Lord God. Save our loved ones that just, some of them that don't even believe in you, Lord God. Lord, let somebody plant the seed and let somebody water to help them to understand that you are the only way. It is only through you, Lord God. And help us, Lord God, to continue to be that light. Lord, we bless your name on tonight, Lord God. We love you. There's nobody like you, Lord God. There is nobody like you, Lord God. You are a way maker. You are our promise keeper, Lord God. And you are our light in the darkness, Lord God. And we worship your name, Lord God. We bless your name. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. Glory and honor belongs to you, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God. We thank you for all that you've done, Lord God. And we thank you for all that you're going to do, Lord God. 
Lord, we just ask that you would continue to touch, touch those that have uh, the families who are grieving, Lord God. Lord, touch the bereaved families, Lord God. Lord, comfort them like only you can. Lord, give them the peace that surpasses man's understanding, Lord God. For we know that we can, we can give them condolences, but Lord, only you can give them real comfort, Lord God. Comfort their hearts, comfort their minds, and comfort their spirits, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we just love you. We honor you. We praise your name on tonight, Lord God. And Lord, we just give you all the glory and all the praise. Lord, we worship your holy name on tonight. We love you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to your name, Lord God. Hallelujah to your name. We worship your holy name, Lord God. We say thank you, Lord, for all that you've done for us, Lord God. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for this revival, this prayer revival, Lord God. We thank you for having a mindset to worship corporately and pray corporately, Lord God. Lord, we just ask that you will honor our sacrifice, Lord God. Lord, fill us up and fill us, fill us again, Lord God. And for those who are seeking the Holy Spirit, Lord God, we ask that you fill them, Lord God. Fill them up. Fill them up like only you can, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We want to see lives changed, souls saved, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we just ask that you would continue to bless the children, Lord God. Lord, bless them in their schooling, Lord God. Continue to give them favor, Lord God. Bless them with favor with their teachers, Lord God, with their administrators, with their peers, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we rebuke the spirit of doing evil. We rebuke those who would try to make them do things that they know that are not right, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we speak life, we speak success over their lives, over their uh, education, Lord God, Lord, we pray for an understanding of what's being taught, Lord God, and we're calling it done right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We know that you have people all lined up ready to help them, those that need the help, Lord God, if, even if they need extra help. And we calling it so, we calling it done, Lord God. We are claiming that our children are saved. We are claiming that our children are filled with your Holy Ghost, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And we just calling it done right now, Lord God. We thank and we thank you for it, Lord God. We thank you for their lives, Lord God, that is already all right in the name of Jesus. And thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You're a wonderful Savior, a wonderful counselor, a mighty God, a Prince of Peace. And we bless your name on this evening, Lord God. We bless your name, Lord God. We don't want the rocks crying out, Lord God. We want to give you a true praise, Lord God. But nobody like you, Lord God. There is none like you. And we honor you and we worship you on this evening, Lord God. Lord, we pray a special prayer for marriages, Lord God. We ask that you would continue to bind us, Lord God. We know that people change all the time, Lord God. But as we change, we ask you to continue to bind us together as one, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, help us to not lo only love each other, but uh, to like each other. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, help us to learn how to compromise and ha help us to be one, Lord God. Lord, you want us to be one. We are two people coming together as one, and we ask that you would continue to be the glue that holds us together in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for the singles, Lord God. Those that desire me, Lord God, we ask that you would send them who they desire in the right time, in the right manner, and when it's in your perfect time, Lord God, let the, they can see that it's right in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We ask that, that you keep the singles that want do that that don't want to be married lord god we ask that you would bless them bless them a lot lord god keep them lord god the way they need to be kept in the name of jesus lord god lord we love you we thank you lord god for everyone in this ministry lord god we ask that you would continue to bless the leaders of our church lord god bless our pastor and our first lady lord god bless the leaders of the music department the youth department the usher department the greeters lord god even everyone that is a member 
or even everyone that has not even been a member, but just are a part of this ministry, Lord God. We just ask that you would bless them in a special way, Lord God. We know that there are needs to be met, Lord God, and we ask that you would meet the needs. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we have people who have been in our prayer, uh, have sent in prayer requests. We have requests that are have been submitted in our prayer box, Lord God. We ask that you would touch in every area, Lord God, every area that there is a need, Lord God. We have prayers for marriages, Lord God. We have prayers for healing, Lord God. We have prayers for jobs. We have prayers for homes. We have prayers for businesses. Every single prayer that has been issued out, Lord God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus that you meet that need, Lord God. Lord, whatever that need is, if it's for a new home, Lord God, we calling it done. If it's for a new job, Lord God, we call it done, Lord God. If it's for a spouse, Lord God, we call it done right now. Whatever and everything that has been put forth as a prayer request, Lord God, we're asking you, let your will be done. Let your will be done in every single prayer request, Lord God. We know that you can do it, Lord God. Every healing, Lord God. Every deliverance request, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And we thank you for it, Lord God. We thank you for this time of prayer, Lord God. Lord, we know that this prayer is not in vain, Lord God. We're just not coming out here for pomp and circumstance, but we are coming out here because we want to hear from you and we want to offer you our prayer. Praise, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God. We thank you for loving us, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for saving us, Lord God. Woo, you're such a good God. Oh, glory to your name, Jesus. We bless you. We honor you, Lord God. And Lord, we just ask that you would help us to continue to go through our fasting time, Lord God. Lord, we ask that you would take us higher and higher and deeper and deeper in you, Lord God. And let, let us come out of this fast and this revival and this prayer just renewed, refreshed, and on fire for you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we love you. We glorify you. We magnify you. And we are so thankful for the love that you have for us. Lord, we just ask that you continue to bless us. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. But dear Father, we do thank you and appreciate you for all your blessings. Hallelujah. You are such an awesome and wonderful God. You are such a blessing to us for your faithfulness and your kindness and your mercy that you've shown towards us. Dear Father, even as we pray, we want you to continue to touch our hearts and touch our minds. We're asking you for forgiveness, for sin. We're asking you to purify us, sanctify us, anoint us from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet. Dear Father, we are blessing you, and we want you to know that we love you and we adore you. Dear Father, we are crying out to you. We're crying out because we know that we need you like never before. We are crying out. Our souls are crying out to you because our desire is to be saved. Our desire is to be faithful. Our desire is to connect with you in a deeper way. Our desire is to totally surrender our all to you. God, we are open. We are vulnerable. We want a deeper connection with you. Dear Father, help us right now. Help us in every area of our life, every area, Jesus, mentally, emotionally, financially, spiritually. Dear Father, we totally surrender to you. And dear Father, even as I pray, Dear Father, we want you to touch everyone under the sound of my voice. I declare and I decree that you look upon the people of God tonight. I declare and I decree that you touch, that you strengthen, and that you bless. I declare and decree right now, Lord, that you're going to move us to the place that you want us to go. I declare and decree that every petition, every unspoken request, everything, God, that we have before you, God, we believe that your sovereign will will be done. Matter of fact, God, we totally surrender our lives to you. 
your will and not our will, your way and not our way. And so, Father, we bless your name. We bless you. We bless your name like never before. And God, we thank you so much. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. You are awesome and you are kind. You're beautiful. God, you're the fairest of 10,000. You are the king of all kings. You're the Lord of our Lord. And dear Father, even as we pray, we intercede. We intercede tonight as a body of believers for that man, that woman, that girl, that boy, that person that's overwhelmed, that man or that woman that's frustrated, that person, God, that need to be saved. We, God, we pray that you touch the minds of the people, the person that may be having suicidal thoughts, the person that may be fighting depression. God, we declare and decree that you bring forth healing, that you touch them and you bless them and you strengthen them right now. Dear Father, we intercede, God, we intercede and we're asking you, we're asking you, God, to save God, save God, save in the name of Jesus, save our sons and save our daughters, save God. We know that you're a God that can save. We know that you're a God that can heal and we know that you're a God that can deliver. Jesus, give us a hunger. Give us a thirst after righteousness. Give us a heartfelt commitment. Help us to be committed to you. Help us to make you the center of our lives. Help us to make you the center of our focus. Help us to make you the center. Sanctify our minds that we can think clear. Sanctify our hearts that we can love right. Sanctify our spirits, God, that we have the right spirit. Sanctify our bodies, God, that we know that our bodies are the temple of the Lord. Help us to be conscientious to what we put in our body and what we eat. Help us to be conscientious, God, in the name of Jesus, uh, how we carry ourselves. Help us right now. Help us right now. God, we declare and decree right now that you destroy every yoke. We declare and decree right now that you will lift every burden. We declare and decree right now that you will bring forth total deliverance. We declare and decree that you will bring forth healing and deliverance from habits. God, you know about the habit. You know about the stronghold. We declare and decree, God, that you do it right now. We know that the power of God can destroy yokes. And so, God, we thank you, God. We thank you, God. And we declare and decree that you release your hands of protection around us and our families. We declare and decree, God, that you, we come against freak incidents and accidents. We bind every plot, every snare, every trap, every setup from the enemy. We bind it in the name of Jesus. But God, we declare and decree blessings on the people of God. We declare and decree, God, that we're going to give us a solid mind, a clear mind. We declare and decree that you release the joy, release peace, release long suffering. God, matter of fact, we're asking you tonight and believing tonight that you will fill us, God. Fill us tonight. Fill us tonight. Every part of us, fill us. Every crack and every crevice, fill us. Dear Father, turn on the searchlight. Turn on the spotlight and when you find, when you find anything inside of us that should not be, take it out right now. We want to be whole. We want to be saved. And so, God, we thank you tonight. We thank you. Touch our ministry. Give us the heart and the mind for the community. God, we're believing that you're going to give us access you're going to give us access so we can do ministry, God. All the ministries that we are financially supporting, God, we pray for those ministries. Dear Father, we pray for the hub ministries right now, that you continue to bless them, God, as we partner with them. God, push it forward, pick it forward, one of them, God. We want you to bless it right now, the orphanage in Panama, God. We want you to touch those workers, God. We want you to touch them, God, as they minister to the least of them right now in the name of Jesus. Christian charities, God, touch them, God, as they minister the hub in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the Providence House, God, and all of those nonprofits and all of those organizations 
organizations right now that's going out and, and ministering. And so, God, we want you to widen our territory, widen our reach, God, that we can be a blessing. So, God, we do bless your name. We do bless your name. Every prayer request that's in the prayer box, every prayer request that's written down in our prayer books, every prayer request that was texted into us in the texting church, God, we pray over them. We stand in agreement and we are believing right now that your sovereign will will be done. Not only do you answer the prayers, God, we believe that that prayer is gonna be a testimony and that testimony is gonna be a witness that's gonna draw somebody to you. So God, we do bless your name. We bless you. We bless your name, oh God. We bless your name, oh God. You're awesome. You're awesome. You're awesome. So even as I pray, God, continue to touch our services, God. We want the power and the anointing of God to continue to dwell in our church. Dear Father, we want a church that's anointed, but we also want a church that's loving. We want a church that people that don't have it together are people that can come as they are, and when they come there, they can feel the love of Jesus Christ and they will feel the anointing and the power. And we believe that you can change. Help us right now to be a light in a dark world. And so God, we thank you. We thank you. Continue to bless our hearts and to touch our hearts. Continue to allow us to be who you have called us to be. God, thank you for stretching us. Thank you for calling us. Help us to be obedient to the call. God, you are moving us, God. You are doing some awesome things, but God, we want to continue to keep our eyes on you. We want to continue to be fixated on you. We want to continue to be focused on you. And so God, every prayer request, everything, God, we want you to do. Touch our community, Jesus. Touch our president. Touch his heart and touch his mind. In the name of Jesus, continue to lead him and to guide him. Help him to be obedient, undergird him. All of our leaders, our political leaders, our civil leaders, community leaders, even our spiritual leaders, God, we undergird them in prayer. Connect with them and bless them and protect them. Protect their hearts, protect their minds, and protect their bodies. So God, continue to bless the people of God. Continue to bless us right now. Our desire is to love you like never before, because we love you. We adore you. We thank you so much for your forgiveness and your patience and your long suffering. We thank you for your commitment to us. We thank you for being a God that will never leave us nor forsake us. We thank you for being a God that's faithful and that's kind, that's just, that for being there because of you, we are never alone. We are never alone. So God, continue to bless the people of God. In Jesus' precious name we pray, amen. Hallelujah. Ooh, God is just so awesome. I just want to just have just a few words for us to kind of contemplate and meditate on. I just want to just give um, Sister Shonora and um, Brother James Jordan and Chantel Jordan, I just want to give them a special shout out. We thank God for using you. I was on the call last week. I appreciate the ones that prayed. You all, this is the time. Hallelujah. We're going to continue to cultivate this connection with Jesus Christ. It's time for us to go high and we thank God for the prayer revival. We thank God for the consecration. But we also, hallelujah, we thank God for what he's doing. I'm going to be coming from 1 Thessalonians 5. 16 through 18. First Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. I'm going to read out of several translations. Um, and then we're going to expound. And again, this could be our scripture for the day. First Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. It's rejoice, and this is the King James translation. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. And everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. 
The Amplified Translation of 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 and 18 reads, Rejoice always and delight in your faith. Be unceasing and persistent in prayer. In every situation, no matter what the circumstances, be thankful and continually give thanks to God, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. The New Living Translation reads, always be joyful, never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Jesus Christ. Lastly, but not least, the message translation reads, be cheerful no matter what, pray all the time. Thank God no matter what happens, this is the way God wants you who belongs to Christ to live. And so you all, I just want us to just be encouraged and want us to continue to pray without ceasing, pray consistently, I know the first of the year is our opportunity to reset, recalibrate. I've been using that word a lot, but I want us to allow this not only to plant the seed for the rest of the year, but I also want this to plant the seed that consecration and focus and making God the center of our attention to be a habit for the rest of the year. I don't know, like, I don't know if you feel this way, but I can tell a tremendous difference and my connection with Jesus when I'm being consistent in the spiritual things. And for me, all, you know, I'm not as sensitive. Uh, a lot of things don't get on my nerves when I'm right where I need to be spiritually. So again, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 16 through 18, it's just encouraging us to continue to pray. Don't ever stop praying. Good times, bad times, challenging times when you have money, when you don't. When we pray without ceasing, then prayer becomes a part of our life, not just something we do on occasion, not something we do when we're getting trouble. It needs to be as part of our lives as breathing, as part of our lives as walking. And so that's what God wants. So again, I do appreciate everyone tonight. We thank God for you. And um, just a few announcements, uh, just a few announcements. This Friday um, is our couple, couples conversation, our couples convo. Um, it's going to be at 6.30, at 6.30 this Friday. Also, this Sunday is picture day. We mentioned last week we we're about to update our flyers and, and update our website. So we definitely want everyone to come. We want, you know, of course, you know, just dress casual, dress the way you dress. We, we just want a good represent, representation, you know, men, pictures of men, women, you know, young people. We just want a nice representation. If you don't mind um, us taking pictures of you, if you're there, we take a picture. You can be like, Pastor, don't put me on nothing. And we will definitely, definitely respect that. Um, our vision and ministry update. It will be Wednesday, February the 2nd, 2022 at 630. Our vision ministry updates will be Wednesday, February the 2nd. And this is going to be an opportunity for us to let you know where we're going, casting the vision and kind of give you updates on what the ministry is doing and has done. This is going to be um, a really, really great opportunity for us to kind of get you all updated on what we're doing in the ministry. Also, again, our goal, repeat after me, our goal, our goal is to have your 2021 tax statements emailed to you by this Friday. And so you should be receiving an email. Um, we should have an email on file. And if you have not received it, you can get with me, uh, get with Chantel, or email us or text us on the number uh, that you didn't receive it. But our goal is to have your tax, your tax, excuse me, your financial statements, your giving statements for your taxes. That's a better way of putting it. Your giving statements that you can use for your taxes. Our goal is to have that out to you by, by this Friday. So again, we do appreciate everyone 
that's on here. And so at this time, we're going to do our benediction. Let's bow our heads. Dear Gracious Father, again, we do thank you for this time of prayer, this opportunity to come together as a body, as a church, as a community, to praise your name, to connect. Dear Father, I want you to continue to touch everyone under the sound of my voice. And I'm believing and I'm declaring and I'm decreeing that for every hour worth of sleep, Give us two hours worth of rest. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you all. You all have a great evening.